Crystals of Gout and Pseudogout. Welcome everyone. Today we're diving into a fascinating and clinically significant topic. The microscopic culprits behind two common types of crystal-induced arthritis, gout and pseudogout. Though they may present similarly, their underlying causes and crystal characteristics are quite different. Let's take a closer look. What are crystals of gout and pseudogout? Gout and pseudogout are both types of arthritis caused by the accumulation of crystals in the joints, but they differ in the type of crystal. Gout is caused by uric acid crystals, while pseudogout results from calcium pyrophosphate crystals. Both can lead to joint pain, swelling, and inflammation. However, gout typically affects the big toe, whereas pseudogout more commonly impacts larger joints like the knee. Crystals of gout. Gout occurs when there's too much uric acid in the blood. This leads to the formation of sharp, needle-like, monosodium urate crystals in the joints. These crystals cause inflammation and pain, often in the big toe. Crystals of pseudogout. Pseudogout, on the other hand, is triggered by the deposition of calcium pyrophosphate dehydrate crystals. They often affect large joints, like the knee, wrist, or elbow, and can mimic other joint diseases, making accurate diagnosis essential. Key differences between crystals of gout and pseudogout. Let's break down the differences. Shape of crystals. Under a microscope, gout crystals, primarily composed of monosodium urate, appear as needle-shaped crystals, while pseudogout crystals are rhomboid-shaped. They resemble rods with blunt ends. Biofringence under microscopy. Biofringence, or double refraction, is a phenomenon where a single light ray is split into two when it enters a biofringent material like a crystal. Gout crystals, monosodium urate crystals exhibit negative biofringence. This means that when viewed under a polarizing microscope with a compensator, they appear yellow when their long axis is parallel to the slow axis of the compensator and blue when perpendicular to it. This characteristic color appearance is a key diagnostic tool for gout. Pseudogout crystals, calcium pyrophosphate dehydrate crystals, exhibit positive biofringence. This means they appear blue when aligned parallel to the slow ray of the compensator, and yellow when perpendicular to it. In summary, while gout and pseudogout may look similar on the surface, the type, shape, and light interaction of the crystals tell a different story. Understanding these differences is not just academic, it's crucial for making the right diagnosis and providing effective treatment. Thank you for your attention. And remember, sometimes the tiniest crystals can cause the biggest pain.